everyone so welcome to design pack uh, four i've forgotten the numbers Whoopsie. um so this is one of my regular clients i have um removed her previous set down to a thin clear base done all my natural nail work prep as usual and then i'm just gonna apply a thin clear base i did this on all the nails and then on the pinky finger i'm coming in with this beautiful color and I used it a couple of times and I was like, yeah, that's nice. And then I feel like I've just rediscovered it. And this was a little gift from Annabelle of Glittervelles. And this is called Mermaid Tears. So I'm using this as a base. And then I'm going to apply um, the glitter, which is part of this design pack. And this is from the Planets Collection. And this is Uranus, or Uranus, if you must say it that way. But I'm going to say it the Greek way. It is Uranus. And I'm applying that to the nail and then just spreading it around. It's quite a chunky cut glitter, so that's why I put a base down. Um, you could do this as a full um, glitter nail. I just wanted to have a slightly softer finish. So if you put um, a blue or a minty green or like a silvery base, they'd all work really good with this glitter. And then applying some brush on glue to the tip of the ring finger and then I'm going to stick down some of the fairy wings fabric. Now you will have received a fairy wings fabric in white uh, in all of your design packs and then I'm just holding that in place. I mean the glue makes it stick pretty quickly but I'm just holding it in place while I then apply this deeper kind of tealy turquoisey blue it's not a blue blue it has got that turquoisey finish to it applying that at the cuticle and then just blending it down just trying to soften that line a little bit this is another one of Peter Bell's um, products another one that she sent me as a little gifty and then I'm coming in with that um, Uranos glitter applying over the acrylic and then continuing to blend down so what this does is it just kind of blends out where that straight line from the fairy wings fabric is and it just pulls it all together and then i'm just going to pull some of that glitter down some of it all the way down to the tip but making sure that a lot of that fairy wings fabric is still shining through Then just going to pop back to that pinky finger and cap that in clear. And then I'm ready to cap that ring finger in clear as well.
Then on to the middle finger, I'm going to apply some of that Mermaid Tears and I'm just applying it in a panel down the middle of the nail because this is where I'm going to add your holographic smileys. Now these aren't for everyone, I admit that, I know that. But I wanted to pop these in this design pack because I just think they're so cute. Um, they will also, they also look really cute. I've done on like a, a funky tie-dye set before and I've placed these on there as well because I think, you know, they're just kind of a bit like hippie finishness. So I'm just using my wet brush to pick up those smileys and pop two of them in that little panel because I'm going to do a geometric design here. I just wasn't quite happy with the thick, the, um, the depth of that colour so I added a little bit more. Placing that on and then I'm just going to pop um, a little bit of clear over those two to let them set and then go on to the next nail. nail I think is my favorite um, I'm going to apply the Uranus glitter from the cuticle area and blend down um, I wanted to do this as well so that you can see we, you don't need a base color with this glitter because there are I mean even though there are some chunky textured bits there's a fair few bit of smaller bits of glitter so you can use this as a full glitter base but I'm going to use this um, from the cuticle area and blend down um, and anyone who's been watching me on YouTube recently will know that I'm a little bit obsessed with the whole cover pink over glitter thing um, I don't know who started that I love you um, <laughs> seven years and I've not even and it's a whole new thing to me oh um yeah so I'm gonna do quite similar with this but I'm going to use that dark peacock feathers so I'm just applying that glitter making sure I've got decent coverage not taking it right down to the tip but almost there and then I'm gonna go back to the geometric design and I'm using a clear bead and I'm capping that panel and remember because it's geometric you've got to make sure you're thinking about your shape and structure so you've got to apply this as if you were doing an entire nail because you're not going to be adding any more so this is when you're putting your correct shape structure and everything into the nail and then i'm going to come in with one of my craft blades i always did my craft blade in acrylic first so that you get a nice clean slice um, and the acrylic doesn't get stuck um, and then i'm going to come in with my craft blade and just make two cuts down either side now make sure whenever you're using a craft blade do be gentle because you don't want to slice into your client's nail um have a a lot of practice with this before you start playing out another way to do it is do it all with your brush like you would your smile line and then come in and just file in once it's set this is just a slightly quicker way of doing it when you do it with the craft blade Then going back to that pointer finger and I'm applying that peacock feathers and I just think this comment oh, it just made me happy it was just such a lovely combination this um, so I'm gonna add a little bit more because that's kind of faded out a little bit and I'm just gonna blend that up a little bit so you just have, kind of have that glitter and it looks to me like glitters coming out like the depths of the sea um, very dramatic and then I'm gonna cap that in clear as I usually would But before I cap it in clear, I'm going to come back in with that peacock feathers and just do the side panels on that geometric design. Now I'm not, I don't know if this is a strength powder, to be honest, because I'm, I was using it as a design powder because I'm using my usual monomer because I don't have the glitter belt monomer. So yeah, it's going to start a whole debate raging. I, I sometimes do this, I use a different powder. Y you shouldn't, because it, it can affect the strength and integrity of those side panels, because obviously I'm using um, a different powder with a monomer and trying to use it as a strength rather than as a design. Um, so there's like my little disclaimer. It's something I've not had many problems with when doing like little geometric panels. But I wouldn't advise it for full nails and stuff. Um, yeah. But that's it, so I'm just applying that peacock feathers down the side panel. Then I'm going to cap that nail in clear acrylic and then I'm going to file these all in.
Now I had videoed the thumb, but I lost the video. I've been having a nightmare with videos. I've had to re-edit this one about four times now. I'm losing the will to live. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there was the thumb, um, and I don't know where it went. So I'm so sorry, guys. It was the same as the fairy wings, but instead of glue, I put a base layer of the peacock feathers and then put the fairy wings over the top. Um, and that's, so I'm going to cap. Cap. I'm going to top coat all of these um, in pop in my lamp for 60 seconds, let them cool down, and then I'm going to apply some cuticle oil, and then you'll see the finished set. And there it is, guys. There you go, you can see the, the thumbnail there. I really love this set. Um, it's got kind of a mermaid feel without being too mermaidy. Um, I really like the cutesy little smileys. I think they just make it, you know, a little bit cute, a little funky. Um, so yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this um, design set. I hope you enjoy your design pack. Um, and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye.